So, I do know there's going to be an annoying floor coming up soon. I think it might be the one after this. As we see a kitty again! No, kitty, come back! Yes, come here, come here! Ah, I want to pet the kitty. That reminds me, what is a cat doing down here anyways? Hello, this is Mega Hoji, back with some more Dark Cloud. In the previous video, we started going through some more of the floors and started rebuilding more of the town, as well as completed the Macho, Macho, Macho Macho House. Uh, and in this video, we'll be continuing to go through the uh, floors and actually got some decent weapons in the last video. Uh, I think we got the Sham Shear in the last video, as well as the Chopper. So I will be using the... Ah, so this is one of the floors I was talking about that was kind of like a dead floor with no enemies on it. Uh, this will be fun. Okay, so... Skeletons. Skeletons! Hehehe! <laughs> now you die! Yeah, skeletons, that should be fun. How much can the how much can the chop how much does the chopper do actually? Oh! One shot! Uh wait, how much does the Wait, how much does this do? Okay, that is two almost one shot, but it's two shot. Uh here we go. These events. Makadoji! He's a tough one, Makadoji! Why did you say my name twice? That was unnecessary. You have to duel him. Duel is a special form of combat. Controller mar uh, controller button markers will move from the right to the left. Press the red button when they line up with the light blue bar. Arrows such as mean press in the direction with either direction buttons or the left analog stick. The closer the blue uh, but uh, uh, the closer the button mark is to the center of the basically it's a quick time event. And you try you do want to try and get perfect. If you do get perfect, you get a special item, which I will be doing for this one. If I get any misses, I will be repeating. When the duel starts, you will be given an indication of it with this mark. Be aware of it. Here it begins. Stay focused. Now, this might be bad because it's a slight delay. Okay. Ah. Uh, miss. We'll get a little scene. I die. Fight again. So you can repeat over and over again until you get perfect. Ah! Ah, it's that one again! Darn it. Okay, yeah, fight again. This entire video is just gonna be me trying to do this. Oh, isn't it? Darn it! Uh. Okay, once more with gusto, once more with... Feeling once more without failing. Okay, bada bing, bada boom. Ah, oh, son of a biscuit. And it sucks because this is probably one of the easier ones too. There are ones much later on that are much more difficult. Oh, yes! Excellent! Okay, perfect! Excellent! A present from the Fairies of Terra. Acquired Amethyst. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, if we go to weapons very quickly. Uh, let's go to the chopper and do this. The Amethyst. There are stones that you can get, like Amethyst, Diamond, Ruby, etc. That give huge boosts. So, if we equip this. Hmm, there's nothing there. Let's check over here. Ten ice. Where a normal ice stone gives three. And over here, ten dragon and ten mage. It is amazing. So I'll keep that on the chopper. Uh, and use that to upgrade. I think the chopper will be the weapon I'll probably will upgrade. Uh, Drance Crest. And what is this? Oh, level up powder. Ah, okay. I will keep that. That So the level up powder automatically levels up any weapon you have uh, no matter what uh, how many experience points it is I do like it 
to use it for some of the later uh, weapons because they do uh, become much more uh, difficult to level up. How's it going? Got the hang of it yet? The force beneath one are even tougher. Now to advance course. Let's give a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charged attack when fighting enemies? Hold the circle button down and after your body flashes, release it. Yeah, so char the charge attack sometimes can be good because especially for melee, for some, uh, especially Toan here, he does have a slight invincibility frame for his attack. Uh, there is also another character that I really like using charge attack for because his invincibility frame I find is a lot better. And we'll be using him probably quite a bit. He's he turned out to be one of my favorite characters in my last uh, streaming of the game. Uh, with this, you'll do a jump slash. It's effective against flying enemies and ground enemies. Let's talk more about weapons. So how are your weapons growing? If you don't start upgrading them now, you can get into trouble later. Before you can upgrade it, it is, good to uh, it is a good idea to keep attachments on. If you upgrade them with Mon, then the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment and add it to its own power. But there is power limit for each uh, limit for each weapon. There is no need to upgrade its ability beyond this limit. When weapons reach level five, plus five, or greater, they can status break. A status break is breaking down a weapon into a sin sphere that contains the power of that weapon. If you install this onto other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapons attributes to the new weapon. The attributes in the sin sphere will add to the new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than what the weapon before uh, the weapon before being made into a sin sphere. If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? And that's it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I will always be watching you. Yeah, so that is probably the reason why I will be equipping the Shamshir until a while now to try and get this level 5 so I can status break it and feed it into the chopper. So that chopper can be- oh wait, is that what I think it is? Ooh, Llama! Ah, yeah, so Llama will be important very soon for- I think Llamas- the Llamas are Llama. Ah, uh, chest. So, new weapon? Okay. Ah, uh, force the chest open, gets the trap. Let's get explosion. Success! Nice. And we get another Shamshir! Nice, okay. So, I'll probably upgrade that one as well to try and. Oh, come on. But me! There we go! Okay, and endurance plus one. Okay. They give endurance plus one, which is nice, especially against those tough enemies. Endurance can be really helpful. And in here we get Gaffer's Buggy. Okay, yeah, Gaffer's Buggy is the general store. Uh, I will not be building it up just yet until a little bit later. The longer you put it off, the better. And I will explain why right now. That's because once you complete the gaffer's buggy, uh, a few things happen. One is the mayor will not give you free supplies. So you will have to buy every single thing you want. That means you will have to buy repair powders. And that can be very bad unless you're later in the dungeon where you can actually kind of afford it. Early on, it's kind of difficult to buy a repair powder. Uh, tape, ooh, regular water. And also, uh, with the event, you get the Gaffer's Buggy. He lets you um, buy stuff. But if you don't have a specific, uh, I think, person, you will, uh, I believe he will actually sell you things at a higher price. So you do want to have um, characters uh, specifically for that uh, event. I think it's Pike you need? I don't think you need to build his house. I think you just need to build his, uh, have him. 
Okay, Shamshir's getting pretty damaged now. Let's take out the Yamek. There we go. Okay, and then I will repair this. Let's repair. Yeah, so once you start getting, like, lots of weapons, like, I already have three weapons. You generally only use one weapon, so that is probably why the status break is so important. And it only takes a portion of the weapon's abilities. I believe it's, like... It's either like 66% or 33%. I think it's 60%, like 66, 60% of the combined, like all the total attributes get transferred. So you do lose that like 30%. But honestly, it's probably one of the most cost efficient methods of upgrading weapons. There we go, one shot. Give me that statue. Give me that statue booty. There we go. Okay, and the abs are full. Nice. So, yeah, let's upgrade this one. Upgrade, and we have speed and endurance. There we go. So now it's permanently gone. We can now attach other things to it. So let's attach endurance plus one. It's more endurance. And uh, let's attach... Sky Hunter. Because I already have 13 Sky on this. Might as well attach some more. Okay, so. This is there. And I get a. Bridge. Yamik. Killed you. And we have three more enemies down here. Let's see. Bats. Bats. It's all bats. Uh, at least you can one-shot them. But once we get a new character, spoilers, uh, the bats will not be an issue whatsoever. A uh, keg. Uh, who needs the keg again? I don't remember. Okay, and in here we get... Bench. Okay. So, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's this four completed. Uh, that means... Uh, I don't think there's anything left outside that I need to do. So I think I'll actually quickly just resupply and then head back to the next floor. I won't even bother checking for chests. I'll do that on the next outing. So let's do this and let's go down. Let's exit for now, and I will resupply. So, uh, only resupplying, so I will actually cut out the rest and meet you guys back on the next floor. So, see ya. Okay, so now we want to go to the next floor, floor six. Oh, there's quite a bit of Atla on this floor. So, I do know there's going to be an annoying floor coming up soon. I think it might be the one after this. Let me see a kitty again! No kitty, come back! Yes, come here, come here! Ah, I wanna pet the kitty. That reminds me, what is a cat doing down here anyways? Okay, skeleton. Oh, yeah, see, nice, one hit now. These guys still take two hits. I, it won't be a while for our... It'll be a while for me to actually... Ooh, Drench Crest. Uh, to be able to take them out in one hit. But honestly, uh, yeah. I'm quite happy that... Uh, ooh, my house. Uh, that'll be important soon. Uh, I'm quite happy I actually got all these weapons. Mimics! Mimics! Yes, okay. Every dungeon, every now and then, uh, Mimics will appear. Now, they don't generally appear at the beginning of the level. They will appear generally later on the floors. They are very annoying to kill. Uh, they take a lot of your weapon HP and they give a bit of experience, but they did get 12 gold, so that's decent. But I can assure you, 
some of these chests are going to be mimics here, and that's going to be annoying. Because on the map, ooh, repair powder. Uh, on the map, they appear as chests. So, it's annoying you go to them expecting a chest, and then pop comes an enemy. I mean, I mean that's the whole thing a mimic's supposed to be, but it's still annoying. Ooh, more escape powder. Uh, mimic? Nope. Okay. Uh, stand in powder. Ah, okay. So, we can't actually use stand in powder right now, but we will be able to use it. Ah, uh, see, yeah. Mimics are enemies that can defend, so they can be quite annoying. Uh, that took a lot of my weapon HP. Good thing I have repair powder. Okay. Let's keep going. Down here, we have... Ooh, there's some Atla. Oh, in here, we get... Fence! No Mimic, okay, that's good. Magic Crystal. Bada-bing! Luckily, we got... Ooh, Endurance plus one. Uh, luckily we got more um, repair powder because I don't think we would have had enough repair powder for everything here. Uh, Paige's house, that's good though. So I think Paige's house, Paige's father is Pike, so we'll need that house for uh, Pike before we set up Gaffer's buggy. Although I probably wouldn't set up Gaffer's buggy until a little while from now. Probably closer to like floor 10 when we can get candy box. Ah, that's for Claude. Uh, once we can actually start affording better, like start affording um, the items. Uh, we have River. Mimic. Yeah. Bing! Ah, uh, come here! Bing! Bing! There we go. Oh, At least they give a b decent chunk of money when you kill them. I mean, 10 gold at this point is decent. So yeah, that's pretty okay, getting 10 gold. Okay, can I take two hits? Yes. Okay. Oh. It's reached its limit. Yeah, so once they go in the red, they start really beeping very, very fast. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. There shouldn't be too many more enemies, and I should be able to last until the end of the dungeon. Ah, Pike. Okay. That's who I will need for Gaffer's buggy to be properly set up. A lamp. And over here, is this a mimic? Yes. Ow. Yeah, and they also hit pretty hard. Ow, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Let's get some bread. Eat the bread. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, that hit, uh, that hit fairly hard. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think repair powders take about 20 gold. And we only have 100. So we'd only really be able to buy five repair powders if we spent everything on them. Not really worth it. Or at least I think it's 20. It might be more, actually. Okay, so, uh, there should be at least two enemies. Possibly three, because one of these chests is going to have a map. One might be a mimic. Yes. Damn it. Bat. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Uh. Brand's feather. <gasps> oh my gosh. Pro okay. This is probably one of the most useful items. It allows for quick movement in dungeons. So, if you see here, this is normal run speed. Let me just take out the skeleton first. 
There we go. And this is map. Yeah, kind of useless now. So, this is normal run speed. And with Drance Feather, this is run speed. This is so useful in the dungeon. It's honestly probably the greatest item in this game. And I think, unfortunately, in the next game, Dark Cloud 2, there is no Drance Feather, so you have to saunter along. Like normal. Uh, but let's use the Drance Press there. Okay, well, that was, uh, that was annoying. I will have to go back and get some repair powders. Uh, so now that we've done a couple floors, let's start setting up the town a bit more. So, let's actually check the Camacho house and see if they have any new chests around here. New chests, new chests, new chests. No, no new chests. Oh, come on. And in here, new chests, new chests, new chests, new chests, new chests, 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 ah, speed plus two, okay, very nice, speed plus two, let's head back out, so it must not be by how much you've set up with the house, it must be by how far you've gone in the dungeon, how much you've configured, uh, but let's set up my house, let's set it right there, and let's set up Paige's house right there. Here, let's set Claude's house right maybe eh, here, and let's might as well set old Gaffer's buggy right here. Okay, uh, so let's start setting up some things. We have uh, Renee, my mother. Hmm. Go llama, my llama. Oh, right there. Uh, Keg. I think this is the keg. Yes. Yes. Um. Let's see. I want Paige's house. We have Pike. But there, Claude. Still no Claude, which is surprising. Claude's one of the first characters you usually get. If I'm, I thought he was usually the first, one of the first characters you got, but I guess not. Uh, old Gaffer. I guess I can start setting him up. I won't complete him, but there we go. And that's really all I want to do now. So let's start checking these houses and see what I can do. Uh, there's a chest, tasty water. Mm. Let's go in Claude's house and see what he might have here. Stashed away. Speed plus two, nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, nothing. Okay, so let's go over to Paige's house. Ah, uh, Paige's house. Do I see Pike around here as well? I need to talk to Pike to see what he wants. Beastbuster. Very nice. Very, very nice. I think, like, Beastbusters and all that, I think they're, like, worth... I think you could buy them, like, 200? 200 gold, so it's very nice when you actually get them. Megadoji, you're safe too! That, that's good! What kind of bastard did this to us? Oh, wait! <laughs> uh... Wait, is this supposed to, is the name supposed to be Dyke or Pike? What? Uh, how do you build your house? I like the wheel for the buggy to be outside. Uh, as part of how he's repairing old Gaffer's buggy. Yeah, so we need Pike to help with repairs. So, ooh, Stonebreaker. If you don't have Pike, you get a bad ending for old Gaffer. Uh, speaking of old gaffer, let's go to his buggy and see what he else needs. Hi, Mechadoji! This is the old gaffer's item shop. Come by any time. Uh, item, speed plus three. Item, fluffy donut. <gasps> fluffy donut. Okay, so, every character has a special food item. Toans, or Mechadoji's, is the fluffy donut. This will increase defense. So now I have eight defense. That is very nice. And I got a trophy. That's pretty nice. Uh, the tr defense is very limited because uh, each character only gets a certain amount of food items. So generally around the end of the game, they will all have the same defense. So you don't have to worry too much about it. It doesn't affect it too much, but it's a nice thing to have. Uh, the gourds and the fruits of Eden are probably the more important items. 
The fruits of Eden we have not seen yet, so those items actually increase health. So, ah, uh, bread. Uh, yeah, those items increase health, so until we can actually get some, uh, our health will stay at 70. I think it generally increases by 10 each time you use it. Ah, oh, there's my llama. Blah. Uh, so, no chest in here. I think I have everything I need for my house. I just need to talk to my mother, which should be in here. Yes, hello, mother. Mekadoji, you're all right. Oh, good. Don't worry me anymore, please. Uh, hello, mother. How did you tell me about house? It's your own house, Mekadoji. Our house had a chimney and it had a storage room. Don't you remember what her own house was like? Uh, no, I have a terrible memory. Like, seriously, I have some of the worst memory. Uh, nothing up here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Let's go back out. And I think we have the chimney. I don't know if we have the other room, though. Uh, do we have that stuff? Ah, we have the chimney. And this is the cabin. Yeah, I don't think this is it. No, okay. So, I can't actually use it. Uh, oh wait, did I... Did I talk to... Oh no, I didn't talk to Old Gaffer. Okay, wait. Old old man, what do you want? Uh, how could you... A shop? Yeah, okay, so... I have the sign. And I have the supplies. I have... I have everything to finish his buggy. But I don't want to finish his buggy. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Uh, is there anything over here? No. Anything over here? No. Okay. So I don't think there's generally anything outside. So there's nothing really to usually check for that. Uh, let's see. No, no, no. No. And there should be... Because I haven't found it yet. There should be a chest in here sometime. Anyways, Mayor, can you give me some items? So I can repair... The Shamshir. Very nice. Give me some more items. Uh, anything else I need to do? No, chopper six. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so... Hmm... I think the next floor is going to be a doozy. I'm going to, if it's the one I think it is, I'm going to equip this Shamshir. Just for now. And you will soon see why. What did this do? Yeah, that's not important. Uh, yeah, I'll equip this for now. Give it some more attack and some more endurance. I'll do that for now. But that will also be in the next video. So, if you did enjoy this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And in the next one, we will continue on to the Divine Beast Cave. And it's now day three at morning. <sighs> yeah, please leave a comment down below if you do want to name a character. Because our first character should be coming up fairly soon. And the next one will be in the next area. Well, so by the time this video goes out, I'll probably be close to that area and that character. So leave some hilarious names down below. But until next time, see ya and stay golden.